Hello, my name is Gabriel from Gavac USA. In this video, I'm going to show you how to improve your computer, your internet connection, if you want to low the la latency, and increase the speed and everything else. I'm going to show you everything that you need to know in order to have that. So if you have a, maybe a, a, a connection that you're losing packets, as you can see here on this example, uh, you will see you have 500 milliseconds, uh, 600 or maybe more. I'm pinging here to 8.8.8.8. So I'm going to explain you exactly why it happens and how to fix it. So as, as usual, I explain first the theory and then I'm going to explain the practice later. I'm going to show you with different uh, rotors. I mean, I'm going to explain you with different rotors what, uh, what are the advantage and disadvantages uh, and everything. In, in, the, in the last moment, I, at, the, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you with Microtech. So if you are saying, okay, Maybe I have that. I'm going. Maybe it will be helpful. Also, you can, if you want, you can skip the, the video a little bit. But uh, the the idea is, if you can see it all, that would be great. Uh, if you don't have any idea about anything, that would be wonderful. I'm going to try to compress uh, the almost uh, huge a uh, whole uh, network class about. Uh, so if you don't know about that, you can watch it on my YouTube channel or you can buy one of my, my classes. So in this case, I'm going to start with the, the connection. So you have many internet connections. You have the internet that provides you maybe Time Warner or maybe Cincinnati Bell or maybe any other provider. Usually uh, you have, uh, at least for home, you have the, those connections that uh, comes with the TV. That will be the coaxial cable. And you also you're going to have the DSL. So if you have the DSL, it comes with the telephone line usually. So you have those options. And also you have satellite and maybe 3G, 4G and, and everything else. So if you have all those options, you're going to say, okay, I'm going to grab some of them. Uh, some of them are going to be good or not. Another one are going to be bad. Also you have uh, wireless. So maybe you are getting internet uh, via wireless. And it has its advantage and disadvantages. So I'm going to start with the cable with the coaxial. So if you have a coax a coaxial cable, and the the thing is, let's say I'm going in this example. I have a, you have three posts. So here is one. It's okay. This one is okay. This one is okay. And here is your computer. So if something happened in this post, uh, like maybe it goes down, of course, you're going to lose the, the connection until they repair the, the cable. Also, another thing that you have to think is what happened if this tower uh, lose the, the power. So if you lose the power because it doesn't have the repeater and everything else, you're going to have the, the issue that even if you have power on your home and everything, you will have, I mean, you will have any in, in internet at all. So that will be the, the thing. Also, uh, you have the DSL. So if you have DSL, uh, you have good and bad uh, things about, about it. Uh, the good thing about DSL is that the phone lines usually are, they are very stable. The connection usually are very good. And the, the good thing is that you don't, because it's just one long cable, uh, you don't have any problem with the, um, with the repeaters and, and everything else. Usually it comes from your computer to the next uh, telco. So if that is the case, you won't have any, any issue with the, the, with the power. The, the thing is that some of these uh, subscribers, they oversell the service and then you're going to have a crappy connection because let's say, that you have a small town with 200 people and the providers, uh, their maximum capacity that they may have is 100. So if they try to sell 200, of course, uh, the service will decrease drastically. So that is the one of the things. And usually cable, in the, depending of the areas, maybe in some area it will work fine, another maybe will not work that well. I mean, try to see the reviews of the provider also. What you can do is try 
few months. If it doesn't work, call, just cut it and, and call the, the next provider uh, uh, and, do, and do that. So if, if you have uh, any problem, usually what you can do is try to check the connector, the uh, coaxial, because sometimes it's not tight uh, properly, or maybe you have a, a splitter, the splitter is not good, or it's losing signal or whatever, or maybe the cable modding is bad, or maybe in, the, in one of these towers that are uh, that you see the, the cable hanging or something like that, or maybe it's underground, whatever. Uh, maybe some connection in the middle is, is loose, um, and that is why you have a, one of those problems. With the DSL, it may be the same case. I, I see cases of the cable is hanging <laughs> on the post or on the towers, and then uh, for some reason the cable is very old, or they don't change it, they got damaged, or something like that, you will lose speed. So that is very important. Okay, I'm going to talk about the next connection. If you have a wireless connection, maybe you're in the rural area or something like that. If you don't have very good signal, surely the connection node will be good and you will start losing packets. So if you start losing packets, that will be very bad. The connection, the latency may increase, the, the, the speed will decrease and everything be, be, will be very bad. I mean, usually if you want to, if you're a gamer, Try to avoid this kind of connection. Try to get a cable that will be better, or DSL, and and then you have the other connection, the professional connection. These are usually uh, their home, office uh, connection. They are the basic. If you want the professional connection, maybe you have a company, or maybe you want to provide internet or whatever. Try to get fiber. Fiber is great. The um, latency is very small, so that is a, a wonderful. If you want to game, that is great. Uh, the bad thing is the the connection might be very expensive. I mean, might be a couple hundred dollars. Um, that that will be it. Uh, the good thing is. If you lose power in the middle or one of those, of those towers with the fiber, usually the fiber, because it's light, it, it doesn't get affected by, by that. So your computer and you will keep uh, running on internet. So that is great. So that, that will be wonderful. Uh, another thing you have the um, satellite. So the satellite, uh, usually the latency is high. Usually the connection are not that good, at least for gaming, and uh, for if you want to install a server or something like that, it is not recommended. Also, you have the other type of connection, 3G, 4G, 5G, or whatever is in the, in the future. Um, usually the, those connections are not very stable. What you're going to find is maybe you start, you try a speed test or something like, like that, and you say, oh, I have 20, 20 down, 10 up, or whatever is the speed. And then when you start uploading a, a video on YouTube or something like that, you will say, oh, it started with 10 megabytes, and then it goes to five, to half megabytes, something like that. So the, the peak is very, is very high, but if you want to transmit like very constant speed, that would be very, very bad. So that is, uh, one of the things in some countries, if you're outside of United States, usually they will charge you, they will tell you a different story. Maybe you say, okay, I want 20 megabytes or 10 megabytes. They will say, okay, yeah, no problem, here it is. Uh, when you start dealing with uh, another server from another part of, of the world, you will see that you will have two different connections. One is the international, uh, that will be the speed. So let's say the, I have cable, cable international, and here uh, in local and national, so for the country, and maybe they will offer you, yes, 10 megabytes for local, or maybe for just for the country that you are in. And if you want to access some another country, and if you want to access a server that it's, it's outside of your country, and then it will be a five megabyte. So that is one of the things that you're going to encounter in, a, in another country. Usually here in the US, it will not. I mean, most of the servers are here, so you won't have any kind of issue. At least I, I'm not aware of, of that kind of uh, difference, differences. So that is uh, things. Another thing, uh, if you want to make sure that your 
internet is fast on your computer and everything, try to use a wire. Wire is the best option, cable. So that way you don't use Wi-Fi because maybe if you're in a big town or something like that, you will see a lot of signals from all the neighbors and you will start getting interference and all those things and that will be a very, very, very bad. So you will start losing packets. So that will be a bad thing. I have seen another videos about i mean another youtubers that they teach you yes we are going to help you how to decrease the latency and everything else and they show you uh that you have to modify some uh, registry on window and then i and that is the the trick but uh, if you do that you may mess up the window um you may have some issue because they don't know what is a MTU? MTU is maximum transmit unit. So I'm not going to go very deep on that because that will be just another class. But you may you have to know that there are different uh, rotors or switches and everything else that they may not support over X amount of MTU. Usually the norm or something that is normal in all the computers is 1500 MTU. If you put something bigger, uh, you may encounter that you will have some issue or if you use something smaller, you may encounter another issue. So usually if you use a smaller MTU, yes, the millisecond, uh, the, I mean the latency will be smaller, but the problem that you're going to encounter is that uh, that you're going to start losing speed. I mean, the latency will be smaller, the speed will go low. You will say, oh yeah, it's good, it's good uh, so-so, because I mean, yeah, you may gain a uh, few milliseconds, but you, if your connection will decrease. So that will be a bad thing. I have a few examples I'm going to show you, of course, uh, on the computer. So try to avoid those things because you are going to mess up things. So if you have a, a rotor that is professional, like a Microtech, something like that, you're going to be able to change those things without uh, messing up your computer. So that is great. That is what I recommend you. I'm going to show you all those things. So that way uh, you will you will see what uh, I'm saying. So in this case, I have uh, uh, okay. This is the the example that I was showing you before. I'm going to change the screen. Okay, here is the microtech that I was saying. So it, this this is a basic, of course, but it's very good. Also, you have to think that uh, the other. My, uh, the other rotors you may you may find like uh, Linksys, Netgear, um, the Link, uh, like I said, all those uh, cheap uh, brands. Yeah, they may cost ten dollars, twenty dollars, or whatever, but they are very bad. They have uh, maybe two megabytes or six megabytes of RAM, and that's it. And the processor will be. 100 uh, megahertz and that's it and you if you're thinking oh that is very low i mean it's very low expect i mean if you have to buy a computer and, or someone wants to offer you hey yes i have this computer 100 meg megahertz to uh, to make a byte ram will you buy it i don't think so of course these uh, small com uh, rotors i mean they are computers i mean of course they are not with the same computer that you use to browse, but they are computers, they're small computers, so they, they can process all the connections and everything else. So you can have Wi-Fi, you can have uh, multiple com uh, computers using one just connection. So uh, that is what, I, that is what I, I'm saying. So if you have this, the other type of uh, rotors, like, uh, like here, this is the basic, you can buy one of these for $50, $60. Uh, depending in US, usually uh, it's around that, that price. If you want something very, very high end, you can buy one of these. Usually, you can get the the cloud, the core cloud. Usually, they are about thousand dollars, five hundred dollars, like this one. But uh, the cloud, the cloud, cloud core, the cloud core. Um, they are very powerful and they may have like 16 cores, 2 gigs of RAM or more and they are very fast and you can do whatever but uh, it, it comes with a attached with a huge price so uh, depending but uh, like I said before if you want something uh, cheap something cheap uh, that is going to be reliable uh, you can buy one of these like I said before 50, 60 depending on where you are and you can get one of those. Um, that will be the, the main thing. So now I'm going to show you something else. 
So here I have the, uh, the connection. Here I have the router. As you can see, here uh, I have 600 megahertz, and the memory RAM is 120 uh, megabytes. So if you compare it with 2 megabytes and 100 megahertz, 600 megahertz, and 128 megabyte is a lot. Uh, for this kind of uh, uh, purposes, uh, is more than enough. Uh, so, if you see, I'm um, using five, six percent. So it's very low. So I'm going to show you. If you are under attack, so that is very important. That is another thing. If you don't have any of this issue, your computer is great. You don't have any problem, and everything is wonderful. And you're thinking, well. But the computer still stinks. I mean, the, the connection is very bad. and I don't know why. It might be a hack, a hack attack. Uh, so it might be a hacker. So what I'm saying is, uh, if you have your, one of those uh, routers, the chip router that I was saying before, the bad thing is you cannot know anything about that. I mean, you don't know what's going on inside of the router, if there is an attack or whatever. Um, maybe you will not be able to mitigate it. So I'm going to show you here how to solve that. So in this case, uh, here where I am, I have in this uh, connection one attack that I had to block. So in this case, I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So as you can see here, I have the the latency is 41, uh, 40 milliseconds. So that is great, wonderful. It works, no problem at all. But I'll show you what happened as soon as I disable this uh, rule in the, in the on the firewall. As you can see, if I disable it, okay. Now it's 400, 100. Uh, you will see here is things start changing, and you will see here. The low uh, CPU, I mean, it's, it's going like crazy. Now it's 50, uh, 74, 62, and it's like crazy. So if I don't block it, uh, the connection will be very, very, very bad. So that is one of the things that you have to keep in mind. I mean, uh, now uh, it will, once I enable it, it goes 2%, 6%, that is wonderful. So I'm going to show you how I did that. So. Uh, in this case, I know that the attack is uh, from the DNS. So I'm going to show you here something that is very important. So if you type tool uh, slash tool profile, enter, you will see the CPU usage. So that is one of the things uh, that you're going to, how you can realize where is the, the problem. So I'm going to disable the rule. So you will see the attack once again. And here you see the DNS. So the DNS, uh, here is how I realized about the attack when things were going very slow. And okay, it's, it keeps moving, but this is the thing. Okay, you, you can see DNS, it was like crazy. 40%, something 80%, something like that. So if I, if I leave it, uh, it will be crazy bad, bad. So that is the, the thing. And here it will show you just the, the total. So that is the thing. When you go to resources, you will go, it is going to show you just the, the whole thing. Okay, CPU usage, whatever, block. That's it. But if you want to know in detail, that is the, the thing. I mean, with Microtech, you can know that. So the, the way I, I just show you, if you type uh, slash tool, profile and then you can see everything. Maybe firewall is working bad. I mean, or maybe you have a bad rule or maybe something is taking a lot of resources. So that way you can see everything here in very, very, in very, I mean, with a lot of detail that is, that is great. So I'm going to show you what I have done in order to avoid this. In this case, I, we have the protocol is UDP and uh, you have to click on plus and the plus sign. And then you go here where it says chain input. And then in protocol, yeah, 17. And then here, the port is 53. And then the Ethernet one is the one I'm using right now. And if you go here on action where it says drop, uh, you have to choose drop. So that way, it will block everything. It will drop every package. And that way, uh, the rotor will work properly, as you can see right now. If you don't do that, that will be very, very, very bad. Another thing that you can do is an IP service list. Uh, you can block everything else uh, except a Winbox, of course. Uh, so that way you can minimize the, the attack. So I have a, a 
um, a class about microtics. So if you want uh, to know more in detail, here is very like very fast on the surface. Um, so that, that way you can at least protect uh, at least the, the basic with your router and you can know what's going on here. If you click on log, as you can see, log here, I have a lot of fa a login failure. So it's someone who is trying to log in on this and you can see the IP from each one of the attacks. So that is, is great. Also, you can see every change that I have done uh, on this router. So that, that is wonderful that you usually on the home of Soho <laughs> routers you are not going to, to have. So now I'm going to show you uh, another Microtik. Uh, I'm going to show you the, the speed with the MTU and everything else. Okay, here I have another Microtik, like I said before. Uh, in the spec, this is a lower, is lower end. We have here 400 megahertz, as you can see here. Uh, we have uh, a memory uh, RAM 32. Okay, it's not that much as the other one, but it's still, uh, like I said, it still works uh, fine. You can do the same tool profile if you want to see if you have any attack or whatever else. So if you want to change the MTU, you can do it from here. So you go to interfaces, MTU, you change it from here and you play with it. You don't have to mess with your operating system. That is great, no matter if you have Windows, Mac, Linux or whatever. So uh, now I'm going to show you uh, the difference. So I've been playing with this before uh, I started this video. So if you can see here, we have 46 uh, milliseconds and uh, here we have uh, 47. So we have one millisecond of difference. But you can see in this case, what I tried uh, before is uh, to make it smaller. I think it was 12, 11 or something like that. So I that is the, the the modification that I have done. But uh, yeah, you can increase the latency in this case. One millisecond will not be a big deal. Uh, and you have, as you can see here, I have 25.9 uh, uh, megabits down and 12 up. And if you see, if you leave it on 1500 uh, MTU, that is the, the normal, the normal, you see is 26, uh, dot two, so here we have 25, okay, we have a little bit better, and the, the up, the upload is 21.1, and here is 12, so it's almost half of the speed that you're losing just for messing up the MTU. Um, like I said, I mean, yeah, you may gain uh, <laughs> just one or maybe 10 milliseconds, I don't know, depending on your case, but in this case, it was one milliseconds of difference. It's not a huge uh, difference. Uh, I mean, I, I don't recommend uh, messing up with, with that. Uh, just remember to keep, uh, to have a great computer. If you have a Core i7, I mean, if you're a gamer, Core i7, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, a, a very good video card, at least four gigs of RAM, a very nice uh, GPU and try to keep a Windows ori original. Of course, Windows original, don't steal any license or anything like that. Keep a li original license of uh, any game and you will be set and everything should be fine. So uh, the final thought will be try to use cable, don't use a uh, wireless. You, you, you may uh, drop some uh, uh, packet, uh, so you will lose uh, speed. Uh, also, try to check the, the, the speed. I, I don't know if you, what are you using? Are you using cable, DSL, um, something, something different? Uh, leave it, uh, the comment uh, on the section below. And uh, later, try to keep a nice uh, computer. Don't play with the MTU. Um, basically, uh, check the, the connections, like I said before, make sure that everything is, is good and properly connected and, and you should be set. So I hope this video was uh, helpful. Remember, if you, if you want more classes, you can go and visit my website, uh, gabakiusa.com. Also, if you want to hire me because, I don't know, you have some problem or something like that, you can do it as, as well. I'm going to leave everything on the description of this video. Also, you can have my website on one of these sites. I'm going to leave the logo of this video. So I hope you have been enjoyed. Remember, click on subscribe and like and see you next class.